next one hour will be very interesting and I promise you, I will engage you so much and at the same time, by the time you leave this hall, you will definitely go with some knowledge, some experience and I am sure that can help you a lot and some of you, for some of you, it could be a turning point towards your life. That is my promise. Friends, how many of you really believe that you can learn something today? Ah, thank you very much. So most of you have put your hands up, which means your belief. In fact, that's very, very important in life, friends. What is called a belief in ourselves. There was one lady who had a belief that there was a snake in her stomach. She believed that she had a snake in her stomach and as a reason she had a severe stomach pain. And she goes to a doctor with a complaint. Doctor, doctor, there is a big snake in my stomach and uh, it's you know, troubling me a lot. I am suffering with the pain. Please do something. Doctor says, don't worry madam. I will diagnose and give you the treatment. But there is no snake there because there can never be a snake there. No, no doctor, you don't understand. Saying that she will refuse to be treated, she goes to one more doctor. And the same thing is said by the other doctor. And finally it so happens, she will remain with the pain. So that is the power of belief. If you believe that you can do it, you can. And if you believe that you cannot, 100% prove that you will not be. And this lady is, is suffering with that pain. One fine day when she meets a new doctor, the doctor says, Madam, you are right. You are 100% correct. There is definitely a big snake in your stomach. At least a small surgery, get admitted, half a day's job, one day rest, you go home. In fact, this doctor knows very well there is no snake in the stomach. St snake was not in the stomach, it is there in the mind. And just to help that lady to come out of the pain, he will pretend as if he is doing an operation. End of the day, he will come to her bed. Look at this snake, he had got some arranged, some old uh, dead snake somewhere, kept in a jar. This snake was in your stomach, you removed, how do you feel? You know what the lady says? Great doctor, ordinary lady. <laughs> and doctor will not just leave at that stage. To make sure that this lady comes out of the problem completely, you need one day's rest and afterwards you go home. And that day she was very happy. Her friends come to see her, relatives come to meet her, neighbors coming to find out how she, and to everyone she keep telling, I was telling you there was a snake in the stomach, and I was telling you the snake in the stomach, you're not agreeing. Look at the snake, look at the snake. A small girl was come along with the mother, and what happened to you? Why are you in the hospital? And this lady will explain the child, look at the snake child. This snake was in my stomach, the doctor was so nice, cut open and removed, and I'm completely relieved. Isn't it? And saying that, little girl, we go near the jar, look at the snake, something flashes in our mind, and I have a doubt. What's your doubt, child? Teachers have told me, and I know very well, snakes will lay eggs. <laughs> when the snake was in your stomach, what's the guarantee that is not laid eggs there? And the moment this girl completes the sentence, this aunt says, Yes, child, I can see it, I can feel it. And doctor, doctor, please come. Now, you have removed one snake. There were many snakes in the stomach. The pain is so severe, I don't know what to do. And doctor also says the same thing. I also do not know what to do. <laughs> Dear friends, why did I share this story to you? You know, each and every one of you here with a lot of enthusiasm, because you've done something great, achieved, and you have 